Hello, I'm John. I'm really keen on recycling. I try to produce as little rubbish as possible in my home. And in this video, we're going to look at my top five tips for how to reduce the amount of rubbish by increasing the amount that we compost and recycle. So the first thing to think about when I go to the shops, how am I going to bring home everything that I've bought? So I have a number of carrier bags that I take with me that I reuse every time and I always try and have one with me. What's really useful is this little small one which I can carry in my pocket and which then just unzips like this and becomes, whoop, voila, a bag ready to go round the shop. So when I'm in the shop, I'm looking at the different products and the kinds of packaging they're in, thinking about am I going to be able to recycle this or do something with this packaging when I get home? it would be really good to leave the packaging in the shop. This is the kind of thing I would try and avoid. Here's something, it's a black plastic tray, we can't recycle that, and I don't need this plastic wrapping that's on it. I'd really much rather have it in a paper bag. The paper can be recycled or composted at home. This plastic bag here, it's very small, it's very flimsy. I can make it disappear or find another use for it. I can reuse a plastic bag, but it's even better not to have it in the first place. So I might just take the vegetables, whatever they are, and have them loose in my bag. I don't need all this packaging. So I'm just washing everything now. I'm putting it through the washing up, along with the plates and the cups and everything that I'm doing here. So the plastic pots and jars and cans that I've brought just go through because obviously I don't want them to smell so I can store them ready for recycling. So I've separated out all the food items which are going into this kitchen caddy. Everything goes in the caddy, anything that was ever alive. I've got this to dry out a little bit because we don't want a wet mess in here. Eggshells, tea bags, everything going into the caddy here and that will go outside and be composted. Paper items, such as this paper bag, I'll be putting into the paper recycling, which I've got also in the kitchen ready here. So I've set up a system in my kitchen which is convenient and organised, so it's no trouble at all to separate my wastes as they come in into different types. Sometimes I get plastic wrappings. And these are really lightweight and what I want to do is ram them down and make them very, very small so they don't take up much space in the bin. And what I do is to use a plastic pot bottle like this and then I take the plastic wrapper and ram it in here. So I can get 50 or 60 wrappings in this plastic bottle and therefore there's less space for me to store in my house. I don't have to put it out so often, there will be less lorries coming to my house to collect rubbish, which is what I'm trying to do. Packaging items contain a lot of air. I don't want to store the air. And I don't want the local authority collecting the air. So I squash everything down flat, such as this cardboard, all these plastic bottles. Many items of packaging can be reused at home. So I wouldn't buy a bag. This little bag that I got something in, I can keep this and find a use for it later. Or for example, the plastic bag that the toilet rolls come in, I can reuse that plastic bag as a bin liner. Let's see what's come in the post. Envelopes, I'm getting these all the time. I can reuse an envelope. I wouldn't automatically throw that away because I need to post things out myself. I just keep some envelopes and I would add a label to it and then I can reuse this envelope and send it on to somebody else. So I've never bought any envelopes. Remember my caddy, it's full of all the kitchen waste and I'm now gonna take it down the garden path and add it to the garden compost bin. So in here, I've got all the kitchen waste and all the garden waste. So I never put out garden waste for the council because I can use it all myself. This compost bin is, contains the whole waste for the year. It all breaks down. My friends, the worms and the 
other bacteria which live in the soil will break all this down nicely. It doesn't smell, nor does it have rats in it. So a great place for the compost bin is as close as possible to the kitchen door and also in the shade so it doesn't get too hot in summer and dry out. We want to keep the compost nice and moist but not wet. And at the end, I get, at the end of the year, a bucket of compost out of the bottom and I use that compost to grow some of my own fruit and vegetables in the backyard. So here I'm saving water by collecting rain off the roof, storing it in this rain butt and using it to water the plants. I've used an old plastic tub here with some of my own compost to grow salad, which I can eat any time I like because it's fresh outside the back door. So as a result of composting, recycling and reusing my waste, I was only left at the end of 2012 and 2013 with one bag of rubbish for the whole year. I got a certain amount of publicity by this, which has been very useful in drawing people's attention to just how far we might be able to go in recycling our wastes. And I hope this video will inspire you to set yourself a target and really reduce the amount of rubbish that you produce at home. Music